In the current NBA era, most championships have been won by forming a super team. We saw this back in Miami when LeBron created a super team with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh and they went on to win two championships together. We saw this again when the Warriors won three titles in four years. And most recently, we saw the Los Angeles Lakers win the 2020 NBA championship with a LeBron James and Anthony Davis duo, as well as a bench where most players were good enough to start on most NBA teams. But out of all these teams that have won a championship recently, there is one team who did so without having to build a super team. What's up everybody, welcome to Ray Talks Hoop. Today we are going to talk about how the Toronto Raptors outsmarted the entire NBA and why they might win another championship in the next couple of years even if it takes the entire league by surprise once again. Many NBA teams have had a bad record year after year. A lot of times, people use the excuse that they do not have a superstar, otherwise they would be a playoff team. However, that is typically not the case because there have been a lot of teams with a superstar that did not have much success. A recent example of this is the Pelicans with Anthony Davis. AD was on the Pelicans for eight years and in those eight years, the Pelicans only won five playoff games. But as you all know, the Toronto Raptors won a championship in the last couple of years and they did so without forming a super team. So how did they do all of that? The first reason has to do with their system. Nick Nurse and the Raptors front office have made an emphasis on building their system around their entire team and not around one particular player. You see, in 2010, LeBron's Cavs were the number one seed in the Eastern Conference and the very next year when LeBron left to Miami, the Cavs finished the season as the 15th seed in the Eastern Conference. This is an example of what happens when you build your team around one player and what the Raptors are doing the exact opposite of. When Kawhi Leonard left the Raptors after winning the championship in 2019, the Raptors still made it to seven games in the Eastern Conference conference finals the following year. This is because the Raptors never built their system around Kawhi, but instead they knew exactly how to use his stardom to best fit into their already existing system, which is what pushed them over the edge and caused them to win a championship. This leads us to the second reason why the Raptors are a successful team, which is their player development. What do these two players have in common? Both Chris Boucher and Fred Van Vliet went undrafted in the NBA draft and now they each play a huge role on their team and are NBA champions. This is not a coincidence. Most NBA players who go undrafted don't ever get to see the court, let alone sign huge contracts and become NBA champions. So how did the Raptors manage to turn two undrafted players into key pieces of a championship team? The Raptors player development is up there with that of the San Antonio Spurs. Not only were the Raptors able to help Chris Boucher and Fred Van Vliet go from being undrafted players to being multi-million dollar players, but they've taken a lot of players that other teams didn't seem to want and turned them into key parts of their team. A perfect example of this is Pascal Siakam. Siakam was drafted as the 27th overall pick in the 2016 NBA Draft and just three years later in 2019, he earned the NBA's Most Improved Player Award, he won a championship, and now he is averaging 21 points per game on a $29 million annual salary. The Raptors know they have to focus on their player development and on making the right trades because historically, most big name NBA players do not want to leave the USA and sign up in Toronto, which leads us to our third point. The Toronto Raptors have a mastermind behind all of the trades and the team's development. That is Masai Ujiri, the president of the Toronto Raptors. Not only is he the one spotting underrated talent like Fred Van Vliet and Chris Boucher, but he's also made some very strategic moves that have been essential to the Raptors winning a championship. All of Masai's decisions could be a video of their own, so we are going to focus on the most important ones and how he's turned a team of undrafted players and late round NBA draft picks into a championship team. 
In the 2015 draft, Masai drafted DeLon Wright as the 20th pick and ended up trading him that same day to the Milwaukee Bucks for Norman Powell and a 2017 first round pick. Even though Norm was the 46th pick, he turned out to be a great player on both ends of the court and exceeded all expectations. This turned out to be even better for the Raptors than they expected and you will find out why right now. Fast forward to 2017, that draft pick that the Raptors got from the Bucks turned out to be OG Ananobi. He's been great for the Raptors and he even hit a game winning three in the playoffs for the Raptors. Keep in mind, Masai convinced the Bucks to give the Raptors Norman Powell and a first round draft pick which turned out to be OG. All of this for DeLon Wright who is a career 7 points per game player. And then of course. Masai's most impactful trade has been trading DeMar DeRozan for Kawhi Leonard who fit perfectly with the Raptor system that we talked about earlier in this video. Kawhi's talents were able to push the Raptors over the edge and they finally won their championship. Masai has made a lot of other moves like trading Norman Powell to the Trailblazers for Gary Trent Jr. who in only his second week with the Toronto Raptors, he dropped 44 points on 17 of 19 from the field and is looking to be a very promising player for the Raptors. Another great trade Masai made was back in 2017. Masai traded Terrence Ross for Serge Ibaka who turned out to be an essential piece of the Raptors championship run, especially on the defensive end of the court. So I think it's safe to say that Masai is a genius when it comes to making trades and signing players that other teams do not seem to want. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. If we can get 100 new subscribers off of this video, I promise that next time I talk about the Raptors, I will wear a Raptors hat even though I am a Laker fan. Thank you guys for watching once again. I will see you guys next time. I am out of here.